yeah, I'm smiling ear to ear this morning. And good morning and welcome to number 17. I don't know. Welcome to Wakey Bakey and Reiki. My name's Doug Hark. Um, yes, let me <laughs> my Wakey Bakey. What an absolutely special morning. Um, I'm doing this out of order. I don't care. It's such a good morning. Um, hello, D.O.G. Uh, uh, yes. It's a very, very good morning. Very good morning. And it's day 199 of my 200, or day 199 of my 1,000 day adventure. 199 days ago I started this adventure because some young kid who a thousand days, exactly a thousand days earlier had sat in his room in Pakistan um, yeah very underprivileged compared to where we are and he said I'm gonna shoot a video every single day his is one minute and he wanted to see where he ends up and at the end of a thousand days he ended up in front of a room of a thousand, two thousand people to celebrate the fact that he'd been shooting a video for a thousand days. And he touched so many lives and his life had, his life had transformed and he had, at that time then, 199 days ago, he had a social media company. He built because of what he had learned while making the videos and yeah, just his whole path because he kept doing something. And when he posted that, that video on his thousandth day, I said, I'm going to start doing that. And while I haven't been consistent, I got lapped off here when I came here. I've been consistent since then. And my life has transformed so much. I miss those few days in there because of what's been happening these last, it's been four, almost five months here. Because after... I started this thing very quickly. I got kicked out of where I was, which is a beautiful place. And I thought that that four years was a four years of learning and growing. I thought that was a massive move forward. Nothing that I had done in the last seven years, 20 years of spirituality, could match what I have done in these last four months here. It's been stressful. Um, it's been rejoiceful, it's been growing, it's been learning, it's wow, and here I am. And it's good because, hold on a moment. Tomorrow is my 200th day of this journey, and it's monumental for me because I was looking at this um, back at about 180, and I was going, oh wow, 200. How far have I come? What have I done? What can I show? And I can, I've grown and I've got more locked into what I do. I have an art form, which I'm looking at as my woodworking. And, you know, a few other things. I, ha I have friends now. That's what's so wonderful. I have two really close friends and I would say another, a third, what I would call a close friend. And so I have friends now and that's what's good. And other things have happened. And so in the last few days, I've really been looking at what do I have? What can I on day 200 say, boom, look at how much I've gone. Look where I've been. And it's been brewing these last few days. And it's been brewing these last couple of days. And last night and this morning, okay, this morning, I'm doing my Reiki. And I'm, or not my Reiki, and that's something else that came up. I'm, I'm doing my morning practice. It's a full practice. Qigong, stretching, yoga, meditation, and all sorts of things, and Reiki practice, what I do in Reiki. And I started thinking about what I'm creating, what I want to create, what I want to create, and then it was just like, Doug, you've been talking about it, just do it. Just on day 200, let's open the Reiki Dojo. And so take small steps. It's going to be my um, Facebook group. I've been tinkering with it, but I haven't taken it off secret. And tomorrow I'm going to take it off secret and open it up. It's just, you're going to be able to see what it is, but you just have to answer some questions to get in. Um, and that's it. Yeah, I'm going to start the dojo. I know what it is. And to start the dojo, this is all happening this morning during my meditation, and this stuff's coming to me. It's I have to live this. 
if I'm the sensei of the dojo, I represent what the dojo means. And so I have to be an example of what this practice is. And the practice is Yumikido. And so I have to live it, breathe it, be a shining example. Because on this earth, I'm the only one. I am all that there is of Yumikido. And so I have to start living it. And so instantly within, I was thinking of this during my first part, which is stretching. And I was doing a bit of breathing, but as soon as I got into my Qigong and I started realizing I have to live this, I started hitting my breathing and I've done my breathing more deeply, more focused, more mindful than I've ever done it before. And this is just like, yeah, this is it. I know what I'm supposed to do. This is what they, Yusui Sensei would have done in the dojo. We have, what, he would have shown people how to do these practices. It's not teaching. It's, this is what I do. And so I was doing something that would have shown what I do. And it wouldn't be teaching. It's, this is what I do. If you like this partial path that I take, then, you know, just do what I do. I'm not teaching you. Just follow me. Show. If you find a better way, do that. And that felt so good. So in other words, day 200, tomorrow, my, I will have a dojo. The dojo will be open. Um, I'm shooting some stuff for today. Uh, it's going to be a soft opening because I won't have everything, but it's going to be open. It's going to be doing. I'm, the dojo will be alive. And then I went into, okay, what's something else with this? And it's, I'm doing what Yusui Sensei said. You know, and some other stuff came out through my Course in Miracles, because this Course in Miracles this morning was on symbols. <laughs> it's, wow. Because I realized we got to kill Reiki. And it's not to get rid of it, but we got to kill this idea that the energy is called Reiki. Because as was channeled to me this morning, just came from consciousness, intuition, whatever, it's... If you label God by just that word, you have limited it. You have said, I am ruler over you because I can give you a name. I give my dog a name. I give my cat a name. I've seen people name their shit and their penis. And we name God? Uh-uh. We can't, we can't name it. And people have done this with Reiki. We've got to get rid of that label. So within the dojo, I'm going to be working that we understand just this idea that we don't even name it yet. We, we use it as a symbol and we understand what symbols are and we don't burden ourselves with symbols and it's just this, this is all the stuff I'm learning in, in the dojo and it just came up this morning and that was because I'm channeling this stuff and then that went into yes I'm channeling Yusui's sensei I get it he's his spirit is telling me to share this stuff and go further beyond what he ever did because that's what a good sensei does. And that's what I want in my dojo. I want people to come to, you know, learn. I know that's a word we use. You know, what I'm doing, follow my path. But when we go out hiking, a metaphor here, I want, like, this young man that's here, my friend, if he starts doing this with me and he goes hiking, I want him to show me stuff in hiking and backpacking that I never even thought of. I want him to make my journey into backpacking, which I'm going to start devoting my life. I want him to surpass me and become my sensei. And that's how this should be. That's what I want in the dojo. So, I, yes, I'm sharing these things with you because I want you to go further and grow more than I do. And not say sensei because I want to be better than you. It's just, it's just the title I recognize. And I recognize Yusui Sensei is ahead of the path of me, and he'll always be because I'm calling him my sensei. And so I'm going to always look for little tiny things which I can improve my life and grow on. And the big one, and I'll share it here. Um, I finally pulled the giant curtain. He shared with me the biggest thing of Reiki. And my, people in Reiki aren't going to like this. Um, but it's... Susan, 
Yusui Sensei was doing what he was because he was at the midway point of the past and the future. The past, the Qigong, the, the, the old way of Reiki. There was other ways of Reiki. It's actually called Reiki. Being created in Japan and Yusui Sensei at the time was looking at that. He was looking at America coming in with all its new technologies, ways and beliefs. And yes, Christianity, which was a new way of learning, you know, kept out of a Japan, this little secret thing that was kind of there. Yet it was being opened up at the time. I don't believe he was Christian. I believe he was just looking and he saw that there was something new. So he was bridging the new and the old. That's what he was doing. And he was using the symbols and the crystals and the, all of that stuff and the chakras and all of that stuff because the old. Because people need those little symbols, the kind of his crutches to help them along. And if you really want to get into this stuff, if you really want to know what Reiki is, Get out of your box and look what his do people are doing during a Reiki healing. You're doing everything to put a person into hypnosis and meditation. A formal Reiki healing is probably one of the first times a per that person has ever meditated and they don't even realize they're meditating. The hands and the touch, we all love the hands and the touch. And forget the energy, forget it, even though that's what it's about. And you get past the uncomfortableness that most people feel with a hug. We love to hug, we love touch, we love that connection. We, it's, it's the essence of life. It's the main thing that a human can do to another human when we don't understand the energy. You know, now it's like stand in front of me and look into my eyes and let's smile because I understand the energy. But the touch, that's the thing. And so that's what Dr. Your I flip back into labels. That's what Yusui Sensei we got. It's like, okay, for my students who come to the dojo, we're going to be showing others how do we can get, teach people the three simple steps of um, Reiki, meditation, Breath, intention. They came with the intention. He somehow got him into breathing. We've lost that. And then he just did stuff meditation. Got them into a trance. And they're doing the Reiki. And that's what a Reiki session is. And the truth is we don't need the hands-on. We don't need the symbols. We don't need the prayer. I don't need no protection. I don't believe in negative energy. I just know there's energy. I just know what creates, I just know what, I'm becoming aware of what there is that creates feelings within myself which aren't pleasant and that are energy and which most people label negative energy. So that's why I don't have to protect myself. You see, I got triggered so I had to go into the path because I'm clearing myself of all of these things so I understand that what I'm doing in my own life with you, Makito, of just the namaste, which is, I don't do anything when I walk into a store to practice namaste. I don't even bow, but I'm doing it, and it's working, and I'll be sharing that in the dojo. Yeah, day 200 is coming up. Very insightful. Tomorrow, the dojo is open. Um, things are going to look different. They're going to look different. Yeah. I can't wait to see what happens on this next quarter jump. You know, we're actually looking towards the halfway mark because this day 200, it's, you know, it was 100, then it's like 200, and now it's, to me, I see the halfway point, day 500, because what I plan on having at day 500 is going to be amazing. Yes, I'll count down the hundreds, but I have an intention of what I want on day 500. I have an intention of where I will be. And it's beautiful and it's amazing. And wow. 200 is going to be off the chart. So with that, have an absolutely wonderful, amazing day. Namaste.